How do you do to econ students? This is Mr. Clifford. Welcome to ACDC Econ. Right now, let's talk about the time value of money. I have a question. Would you rather have $100 now or $200 sometime in the future? To answer that question intelligently, you're going to need more information. First, you need to know how long before I pay you the $200. And second, you need the interest rate. Time is money, and the value of money depends on time. Let's start off simple and look at the decision between taking $100 today or $100 a year from now. And let's assume that the interest rate is 10%. So what is the value of $100 today in one year? Well, you could take the $100, put it into a bank, and get that 10% return. And so the future value of $100 today is $110. The future value of some quantity of money is the quantity of that money today times one plus the interest rate. To figure it out for two years, it would look like this. The quantity of that money times one plus the interest rate squared. And for three years, it would be cubed. Clearly, you'd rather have $100 today than $100 a year from now. Instead of looking at the future value of $100 today, let's look at the present value of $100 a year from now. Well, to get it, you need this equation. The present value of some amount is how much it is in the future divided by one plus the interest rate. For two years, it would be that amount divided by one plus the interest rate squared. And for three years, it would be cubed. So let's find out the present value of that $100 a year from now. It's the $100 divided by one plus the interest rate of 0.1%. And that comes out to be $90.91. That's the present value of $100 in one year from now, given the fact there's 10% interest. So again, it's clear, you should definitely take the $100 today as opposed to $100 in the future. Now let's go back to the original question I talked about. Would you rather have $100 now or $200 in the future? Let's assume the interest rate is still 10%. I'll give you $200 two years from now. So use the equations I showed you earlier to calculate the present value of $200 in two years. Find out if it's a good deal for you. The present value of $200 two years from now is the $200 divided by one plus the interest rate of 0.1 squared. And that comes out to a little over $165. So in that situation, you should definitely take the $200 in the future because the present value is more than the $100 I would give you today. So the reason you're learning the time value of money is to understand that money and time are related. And it's also going to help you understand the idea of compound interest. For example, if you knew you needed $200 two years from now, you'd know to put $165 in change in the bank, and that would eventually become $200 in two years. I hope this video helped you understand the time value of money. Make sure to take a look at the next video that's going to explain T accounts and the whole idea of money creation by banks. Also, take a look at the unit playlist that has all the videos covering money and banking in the financial sector. All right, till next time.